sun's very powerful today uh, very hard to keep on staring at the camera but behind me is Tangshan North or Tangshan Bay Railway Station so let's take a look Tangshan North or Tangshan Bay Railway Station isn't actually in central Tangshan. It in fact used to be called Fengren Station, as upon exiting here, you're actually in the northern suburbs of Fengren. And speaking of exits, this station is full of them, it seems, so you've got to be careful. The one which has people coming out of a tunnel is the proper exit to use, if you're expecting somebody from a train. That's the one I call the Big Mouth Exit, for very obvious reasons. All the other exits, especially those on the upper level, are from the main station entrance or the ticket hall, and are not used by passengers leaving trains but instead for those simply visiting or buying tickets and thus not travelling. The station had been completely redone from my first visit in late 2011, and two separate buildings, the ticket hut as I know it back then, and the main station building, are now together under one roof. The new and vastly improved station looks more like a rail palace. Don't worry if that's not your thing though, there is what they claim to be, the North Station Park just by the station. Tangshan is a veritable rail hub, and you can see that from what's there by the station, both the Tangshan Cargo Center and the rail track maintenance office. The one thing that caught my eye as I left the station on foot was this classic logo of the railways on the Red Star. You simply don't see these symbols of years gone by anymore on a daily basis. There is also a bus stop just for the railway buildings and offices. The station itself is just off Tangfeng Road, and is minutes away off the main highway. It's also not far from motorway G1, which connects Beijing with Shenyang and Harbin. The always busy North Station has a rather infrequent bus link to the main Tangshan Station, which is rather slow but almost non-stop. Tangshan Bay or Tangshan North in the meantime continues to appear imposing, and probably very much larger than life, and by stepping into the station itself, you might get a bigger idea. Passengers go through security check first, before continuing either via ticket and ID check to the waiting areas on either level, or continuing further right into the main ticket office, with both machines and traditional counters. Somewhat less seen for a modern HSR like hub, there's a Beijing Rail slogan emblazoned in big red characters, you don't see that often these days. The main departures hall is split between the upper and lower levels. On the main lower level, there's also a very useful stuck on the wall and floor bag size ruler and checker, so you can be sure you're not carrying excess baggage. Gate 1 takes you to the platform for trains mostly bound for northeastern China, where there are both regular rail and HSR services, both seen in either direction at this station. By the escalator, there's also a serviced desk for passenger assistance, as well as access to the upper level. What I love here is the very spacious hall and the equally impressive roof. And once we're upstairs, it's straight to gate 2, which provides access to all other trains. When you get beyond the entry gates, you use a footbridge above the platforms, which I think could probably use more lighting to get access to platforms 2 and 3. The station is also home to quite a number of cargo or freight services, some stopping just a track away from platforms 2 or 3, which together make the Seoul Islands platform at this station. There's also a look back at Platform 1 and the overbridge. Before long, my train had arrived, and so therefore I had to literally run to get to my sleeper carriage. So that's it, that's a quick look at Tangshan Bay, Tangshan North Railway Station. I'm on the train back to Beijing, so I'll see you guys around.